Boxing Truth here. Wanted to talk a little bit about Miriam Mom, the young master, uh, the contender at 140 pounds. I'm hearing that, uh, according to the boxing scene, uh, Don King and his management, uh, Don King and uh, Miriam Mom's management, are going to be gunning for the Adrian Granados rematch for possibly immediately, could be next. Uh, uh, I think Amir Imam should bypass the, the rematch with Granados for, the, for at least for now, for the time being. I think he needs to uh, rehabilitate himself. He needs to take at least one or two get back fights. You know, he needs to take a rest. He needs to, you know, take a rest spiritually, mentally, and physically. And then when, you know, at least five months five six months and then he can, he can come back he'll be refreshed he'll be uh regenerated <clears throat> he'll be he'll be he'll be hungry to get back into the ring he'll be in better spirits the thing the thing is um i know a mom was embarrassed by that loss you know he, he was a he was a, he was the favorite going into that fight uh, however, Don King and his and my mom's management they fucked up. They they underestimated Granados. They didn't they didn't study his record good enough. They didn't watch enough tape on the kid. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put my mom in there in there with him. Not not or at least not before he he was on the verge of a title shot against Postal. Coming into that fight, he was the number one contender for WBC for Postal's strap. Uh, he ended up taking a stay busy fight. I mean, uh, Don King did the right thing, you know, keep him busy, keep him sharp, so he can be as ready as possible for Postal, who's no easy feat for any junior welterweight in the world. But they they picked the wrong guy, unfortunately, and uh, Amir Imam picked a hell of a time to lose. He just didn't fight the right fight. He kept trying to prove to himself that he was better than Granados on the inside, and Granados kept repeatedly telling him that he wasn't. That he was, he, he couldn't handle him on the inside. And mom needed to keep that fight at long distance, at range. When he did that in the first round, he dropped Granados. He had great success. But then after that round, uh, he he got his ass whooped. He, he didn't. He was just fighting the wrong fight. And Granados wore him down. And by the time and mom realized he the, things weren't going his way, it was too late. He was already spent. The legs were gone. He couldn't couldn't keep the distance. Granados was a dog. He just wouldn't let him. He just wouldn't give him any space, and he ended up overwhelming him with with a lot of shots and stopping him. Uh, from managing Amir and Mom, I take a get back fight. You know, get him some more confidence. You know, just get him back in the win column. Of course, I would. I want to match. I would match your Mom. For a rematch with Granados, just to you know, to write that L, but immediately is not is not the right move. He need, uh, I think I would need if I was managing Imam, I would need more of an, of an incentive for Imam to fight Granados. Say Granados picks up a strap, or say a network offers more money for the rematch, then I say yes, gun for the rematch, but definitely not next. I wish Amir Imam the best. Uh, I'm a fan of the young master. I, I saw. A lot of potential in him. He, he when he was coming up, he's you know he's, he's very strong, he's very very good punching power, you know, good boxing skills. He's he probably just underestimated Granados, didn't study him, didn't know anything about him, and just he walked into a bus all that night. But I believe Imam can still bounce back, but I don't think he should fight Granado next. You know, take a, a another fight in between. See if Granados can win a, win a strap, or maybe the, the fight will be more lucrative in the future. Uh, and uh, wishing Miramon the best. This is Boxing Truth.